Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of February 2022. Now, it is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, um, although I am a reading for February, know that you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video, whether it's February, March, April, May. Whenever, whenever, you're, uh, whenever you're drawn to the video is when you are meant to hear its message. Let's begin. Your first card out in your reading is the house. Now this could be um, a physical dwelling or this could be, <clears throat> excuse me, your inner house. In fact, I think that we are talking about both here. I think that you're uh, carrying a lot of burdens having to do with your, uh, the house, the home, the family and maybe even family secrets. Um, <clears throat> I feel like um, you, you could be feeling um, under a lot of pressure. Um, you have a lot of weight on your shoulders. You may have a lot of problems having to do with home and family. You could be feeling restricted. A situation or a relationship that may have began as one that showed a lot of potential or that had a lot of potential um, may, you may, it may not be as it had seemed like, um, it's not the way you thought it was going to go or is not going the way you thought it was going to go. <clears throat> I feel like you're thinking, I feel like you're in between. I feel like because the bridge is representing a place in between there's a, it's like from one shore to another. And I feel like you're in between. I feel like you are transitioning because whatever's happening to you, you, you don't want it. It's challenging. It's not what you wanted. Or it's not what you bargained for. Uh, you know, when you, when you kind of signed up for this, um, when you got into this commitment, um, something has come to your attention. You've been given some information or some understanding as to um, this painting. You see, it looks like a, a family, but look, it, it's actually... Um, some type of curtain that's being painted, but what's behind the curtain? It feels like somebody uh, has been keeping a secret. Um, it feels like um, somebody may have been pretending or maybe you're having to pretend that everything's okay when it's not. Maybe you're having to pretend uh, and and try to keep your emotions under control here with that King of Pentacles. This could feel like a really fragile situation and maybe because he doesn't do too well with emotions. So maybe, maybe you don't really know how to deal with this or this could be this king and this king could be one in the same. He could be pretending that everything's fine, you know, but is emotionally withdrawn. So like to you and the outside world, he would be like this, but inside in the inner house, he's like that. Or this is you. Somebody is keeping a secret. Somebody's in a relationship. 
um, but feels alone. There's a deception going on here, um, you see, in this image. Somebody's keeping some information hidden, pretending all is well when it's not, or pretending to feel love for someone when they don't. King of Cups reversed. You could be questioning this person um, because I have uh, you in the dark. So you, maybe you're not sure of how this person feels. Um, all you know is uh, it's not going the way you wanted it to. You're in a relationship and feeling alone. And, it, and you know, if it's not you, this is the other person that's questioning this relationship. So we have somebody here in the dark and they're questioning the identity with the identity card. They're questioning the identity of the other. Who are they really? Um, are they just playing a role in this relationship? Are you just playing a role? This is taking a closer look. Maybe you don't know what you want anymore because something has come to light that's shifted or changed this relationship and maybe you're on the fence or in between two shores. There's a lot of fighting here. A lot of arguing with the um, Five of Wands. Yeah, see, you might feel shut out. You might even, uh, th you maybe your partner's cheating on you. Uh, maybe that's what you found out. I have the Five of Coins here. And maybe you feel like you're on the outside here. Maybe that's what all the fighting is about. That and, of course, somebody's unfaithfulness um, somebody with that king of cups in reverse there um, he can be he can, he can be very controlling he can be um, manipulative um, he can be emotionally detached uh, very cold very uh, he can be dishonest and unfaithful He can create a lot of drama, a lot of emotional drama. And so the Five of Wands speaks to maybe there's a lot of pent up fr uh, frustration here, um, which has led to a lot of chaos. Um, hmm. not seeing eye to eye, um, somebody's temper, uh, could have flared. Somebody could be un, uncooperative. So you have the flowers and this speaks to a very fragile situation. Um, it's kind of being pricked by the rose. So it was not, it's like with the rose. Mm. All may not be as beautiful as it had appeared, you know, in the beginning. Something took a turn for the worse with the wheel in the reverse on the Empress. So something stopped growing. Uh, something lost its potential um, because of some some unexpected event or some kind of disruption. Six of Swords in the reverse is uh, stuck. Oh. 
staying in a staying in a some type of aggravating or unstable uh, situation or the surroundings are unstable fragile it's like you you got to walk on eggshells um, something you once really wanted and well now you're you're changing your mind so here you are in the middle on the fence um, uh, possibly wanting to change uh, leave one shore for another you know because over here there there's it's lost its luster so to speak there's more information that's coming um, about the house because we have the house appearing again from a, a different deck so um, that could cause um, that could cause more disruption here and it, it kind of gives you that sinking feeling having to do with the um, with the Empress having to do with the possibility of trying to heal this um, there's information that you don't have right now okay but um, you will be getting it because I see it here all right you don't have this news yet and it will come in it will take you by surprise and it could be whatever this information is could be the deciding factor on the bridge so the bridge it's like it it's like the midway point between two worlds here for you you also have this card of power here so um, you might be thinking of a, a strategy or trying to come up with a strategy um, in hopes of forcing somebody's hand or somebody's trying to force your hand this could be about a power play um, somebody could make a power play um, somebody uh, especially him he could be very uh, controlling he could be maybe or may try to uh, especially with the magician here he may try to persuade you to do something you don't really want to do or that goes against your beliefs or that you feel is wrong or that you feel is unfair for someone this could even be a third party with the five of coins the magician the ten of coins and maybe you find out somebody's married and that goes against your beliefs um, and you no longer you know want that relationship but emotionally you're already very much uh, tied to the person making it um, very difficult and they would try to persuade you to kind of stay in that triangle you know to kind of have their cake and eat it too that's only for some you know it's not going to be for everyone and so this could be about taking a stand standing in your power um, we have our king reappearing here again this could be about a decision I feel it's a decision uh, to end something with the death card being there I mean you've got a choice here you're on the bridge you can either continue on that bridge and transition go to the other side or you can retrace your steps 
right? And so you're feeling very restless here in the Four of Swords reverse. Um, you know, you're probably trying to gather the strength uh, to deal with everything that's happened and with everything uh, that you feel is yet to come. There's a need here to be very cautious, to be grounded here. To stand your ground because there could be a surprise attack coming in here or uh, like something. Yeah, this could be something that comes in where they try to persuade you or put you up against a wall to get you to do something that they want you to do. You're very worried about this Ace of Cups here, about this relationship. Um, you're very worried because you have feelings for this person. They might even make you feel guilty for something. <clears throat> you, uh, with the skull, something, um, something could be coming to an end. It is a, a card that warns of endings and danger and betrayal. Um, it speaks to addictions even. Um, it's kind of like devil energy a bit. Um, struggling relationships. It feels like the trust has been broken here between you and another. One minute, I'll be right back. I'm going to cough. Sorry about that. I <laughs> felt a tickle coming in my throat. Okay. And so, um, yeah, um, so you're in the four of swords energy and you're feeling restless. It's like you, cause we have you restless here. Um, and then we have you back in that four of swords energy, uh, thinking about, some type of surprise attack. There's something coming that that person's going to pull something and you need to be careful of it because you got a warning with the skull. I think that something could happen that will really make you, because it throws you back into the Four of Swords, whatever this news is that you don't have yet, and it gets you by surprise so it may show you that you really can't trust this person. See, the book is closed. There's information you don't have. There's things that are hidden from you. There are secrets here. So it's like a, there's a stalemate and you don't know which direction to, to take on that bridge until you get that news. You have the lady of the lake as your final message here. Now, she represents the highest order of respect for yourself and the manner in which you uh, operate within the world around you. So she is actually the harsher element of truth where... Um, any denial gets swept away by a tidal wave of events, which is what is occurring and is about to occur. She demands nothing short of total truth and integrity and asks you to be mindful of all the signs, signals, and omens that present themselves to you when it comes to this situation. And she says, it's not time to second guess. Her message is to take care, be very careful here, because this is serious business. She reminds you of your personal responsibility in shaping your reality and of its consequences. 
you are to seek the sword of truth within yourself and follow it for it's it's through the truth and being honest with yourself that success will be yours that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you